leadership bonus. You remember in the, in, the, in the basic marketing program that we shared in another video that managers can qualify for a 6%, a 3%, and a 2% leadership bonus on their downline managers, first, second, third generation. There is a qualification for that that managers um, must do in order to receive that bonus each month. The basic qualification is made up of personal and non-manager case credits. Remember, we talked about those. Does not include anything from any managers under you. It only includes your personal group who have not yet reached the level of manager. Basically, what you need to do is 12 personal and non-manager case credits. And of course, these include the active case credits that you're doing to do your four case credits. Now, here's something very exciting, is that as you build your business and as you develop managers under you, what the company says is that if you have two lines of managers and anywhere down that line, there's a manager who's doing 25 case credits at least, total case credits, during the previous month, then your current month's requirement is no longer 12, it's only eight personal and non-manager case credits. So you're being rewarded for developing strong legs under you. Now this is further reduced if you have three managers who during the previous month did 25 cases with their groups, you only have to be active and that automatically qualifies you for your leadership bonus. So my advice to managers is that they start working to develop strong manager legs, at least three, so that your requirement for leadership bonus is only four case credits per month to be active. Okay, so that's leadership bonus qualification. Now, each month you will receive, at the, in your bonus recap that you receive online, in the last page of that bonus recap is a listing of all of your manager lines. So here are all of your first generation managers. The list then contains a manager down that line the one who had the most case credits during the month in that line. Okay, anybody over 25 case credits is going to show up here and count as your, as a manager that can help you reduce your, your, case, your case credit requirement. So as you can see, this person has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 different manager lines and fortunately, all of them except one had more than 25 case credits. So this person easily qualifies for the following month of only having to do four case credits. So each month you'll know in advance how many leadership uh, uh, managers you had during the previous month, so you know how to plan for the current month. Okay. Now, leadership bonus, you can uh, lose your eligibility for leadership bonus if you are not an active manager for three consecutive months, okay? So you go, let's suppose you go January, February, and March without being four case credit active as a manager. You lose, you become ineligible to qualify for leadership bonus. So you certainly don't want to <laughs> allow, let that happen. We want our managers to be actively involved in the business. The way you regain it after you lose it is that you must do three consecutive months of being active and having 12 case credits, personal and non-manager in your group. And then during the fourth month, you can start qualifying again for your leadership bonus. Bottom line is always be active. 
6% is paid to you on the first leadership bonus, uh, leadership bonus qualified manager down each line, 3% of the second one down each line, and 2% of the third one down each line. Now you notice that this is a dotted line. That means that these people don't have to be sponsored right next to each other. This means they can be anywhere down your line. So if you have some managers in between here who are not leadership bonus qualified, this all closes ranks and you receive 6% of the managers group who is leadership bonus qualified.